to Star Squirrels TV. Our top team of journalists is here to explore a very important subject. That's right. According to the Sunday Times newspaper earlier this year, Froome is the eighth best place to live in the southwest of England. This is very exciting news for Froome. We have been learning all about Froome this time. We have looked at the history of Froome from the Saxon times. <coughs> And we have looked at how Froome has changed over time using maps. Now we have decided to investigate the claims by the Sunday Times. Our three teams of reporters will be speaking to Froome residents, finding out what they think. Star Squirrels TV are putting Froome to the test. But first, here are some facts and figures. <laughs> to a friend why I would recommend um, Froome for a friend because it's just lovely and quiet and it's also close to different places that have lots of events going on each each weekend each day and it's just really enjoyable and it's just a lovely place to be in. I'm interviewing Lewis Miller and he's lived in Froome since he was born. Is there anything you don't like about Froome? No I think it's the best place around here. So. What gives Froome its special spark? I think it's all the um, things like the Froome Festival and the Carnival and all that sort of thing. And now there is a Froome, um, we have a market once a month, um, an artisan market with hundreds of different stalls and people come from all over the country to visit and I think that really gives Froome a spark. Some interesting responses there. Our next interview is with Froome resident and parent of Daniel, Mrs Claire Hopkins. Do you like it when Jensen Button drove through Froome in F1 racing car? I think that was the mo one of the most exciting things that's ever happened to Froome. It was fantastic. You could hear Jensen Button revving his car all the way through Froome, all the way to the outskirts of Froome. It was amazing. I think we're beginning to see why Froome is such a great place to live. Our final interview is with a person who should have all the answers. Please welcome the Mayor of Froome, Councillor Toby Elliott, who we are delighted to have with us at Star Squirrels TV today. If you could change Froome in any way, what would it be? I think the thing I'd like to change the most is how much traffic goes through our town centre. So, uh, the town centre I think is dominated by that main road that, that runs through the middle, uh, through Bath Street. And there are too many people who just drive through it non-stop because it's a route through the town. Uh, and that's a shame because actually we've got a beautiful town centre, but it's destroyed us, the, uh, the heavy traffic. And, and not just the good vehicles too, but all the private cars that also asked the mayor about the cheese show and he said it was voted second best cheese show in the world. Wow. Now, what else have we learned in investigation Look, room? I've looked at all, all, the, all the interviews and I've noticed that all our pundits have rated through over 9 out of 10. According to some from residents, they that Froome has lots of good restaurants and according to Lewis Miller that you can never be bored in Froome. So after all our discussions we, we have found out that Froome should be rated higher than 8th best place to live in the southwest. <laughs>